Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about uh, chilies, the vegetables, which are botanically fruits, but we're not botanists, so we call them vegetables. Uh, wild chilies were gathered in Central America by 7,000 BC, cultivated by 3,500 BC. Columbus and other Spaniards discovered them very quickly, took them back to Europe from where they diffused around the world rather rapidly. Um, of course, he mistakenly thought that chilies were related to black peppers. That's why he called them peppers, um, sort of like he mistakenly thought he had gotten to the Indies, which <laughs> was the word they used for Asia back then. Um, of course, chilies are used fresh or dried. They're used raw or they're cooked in a lot of different ways. They're eaten whole or chopped or ground or skinned and seeded. They're pickled, they're marinated, they're used as a paste. Um, we recognize the dried varieties of chilies as different than the fresh ones. As well they should be. The flavor's quite different. And there's maybe around 300 varieties of chilies that we eat in the world. Uh, in the United States, they're popular in Mexican cooking and Cuban cooking and Creole cuisine and Cajun and Sichuan Chinese and Indian food and Thai food and Korean food and Indonesian food and Italian food, Hungarian food, Ethiopian food, and a few more. Um, the slides here are mostly showing varieties that are favored in Hispanic American cuisine, including Mexican and Cuban and some stuff like that. Um, the heat of chilies is actually a burn. Uh, it's a temperature sensation combined with pain. It's not a taste. <laughs> I mean that in the <laughs> technical sense. Um, and they come from capsa capsaicinoid compounds. There are at least five chemicals, including capsaicin, which cause this burn. And they are found, no, not mainly in the seeds, mainly in the ribs and the membranes around the seeds. And so you can moderate the heat by cutting out the ribs and the membranes and the seeds. That's a good start right there if you want to reduce the heat. Um, you can also do that by cooking them, although certain things, if you cook them for a long time and let them sit, they actually get hotter. But um, also, of course, you can combine them with certain ingredients. They're barely, these capsaicinoids are barely water soluble, so I would recommend that you use milk or rice or something sweet or sugar to wash away the burn. In other words, don't consume water or beer, but an ice cream milkshake would be perfect. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the heat of chilies is measured by Scoville heat units, devised in 1912, and you can't make this up, by Wilbur Scoville. <laughs> and it refers to the number of times that an extract of the chili must be diluted with sugar water before no capsaicin can be sensed. Of course, that's not the way they do it now, but that's the original basis for the scale. <clears throat> Bell peppers, which are chilies, have zero Scoville units. The New Mexico green, or very similar to Anaheim chilies, at least traditionally, they're about 1,000 Scoville units. The jalapeno, which if you grew up in a culture eating them, you can eat those like candy, but people who aren't used to them, they're a little bit hot. 2,500 to 4,000 Scoville units. Serrano chili, 10,000 to 23,000 Scoville units. A cayenne, that's about 40,000. The habaneros and the scotch bonnets, 80,000 to 300,000. <laughs> on the Scoville units. Hottest habanero ever recorded, 577,000 on the Scoville units. Now, fiery food mavens seeking to one-up each other now have to gear up for a whole new test of culinary bravado, the world's hottest chili pepper, okay? First measured recently, the Indian pepper, the boot jolokia, the ghost pepper. Over one million on the Scoville scale. 
So named because it can scare ghosts away. <laughs> Claims for the world's hottest chili continue. Recently, the Naga Viper was tested at 1,359,000 Scoville units, but has not yet been verified by the New Mexico Chili Institute. <laughs> However, very recently, the New Mexico Chili Institute did verify the brand new hottest pepper on the planet, the Trinidad Moruga Scorpion. <laughs> Averaging 1.2 million. Ooh. But with fruits from some individual plants reaching 2 million Scoville units. It officially takes over from the ghost chili, which you see here, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. There's the Trinidad Moruga Scorpion. And by the way, pure capsaicin, 15 to 16 million Scoville units, and you can actually buy that stuff. Why you would want to is a little bit beyond me, probably for a frat party, but you might end up like this. Thank you.